Now this is connected to the tropics. Now I'm not expecting any tropical activity. Even what I'll show you here, I'm still not expecting any development that will affect us down the road. But the National Hurricane Center still says this area in the Gulf a 30% chance maybe down the road of development. Again, that's past two days from now. We can see one system, the rain that's already in the Gulf, and then this impressive system that was once a tropical depression. And now forecast data really starting to pick up on the leftovers from that storm moving into the Gulf as well. That could be the big player over the next seven days, but we've got fronts already on us and that's going to push everything just away from us. So this is a problem for a lot of the platforms and a lot of the boating and then ship traffic that would be going on in the Gulf and Florida. And it's all due to that leftover system once was a tropical depression. But look at this particular forecast. It outlines the energy well, puts it into the Gulf right here. So what we're looking at is humidity, but I'm able to tell that spin and show you much easier. The first leading spin fades away, but look at this one takeover by the latest forecast. Really get some action going as we go middle of next week. And then into Tampa, that is not good news. Tampa really got hit hard by storm surge, even though Helene just flanked them. A lot of storm activity and rain still into the Gulf. We're right on the edge here, but there is a recent forecast to take a little bit more rain closer to New Orleans. So that does mean some areas the Jean Lafitte, Belle Chase might have some more rain over the next three to four days. So the takeaways for us, rain today and tomorrow, then the rain chances still go down over the weekend. Still the north is not looking for a whole lot of rain, but most of it falling on the coast. Late next week, we'll need to monitor for what I just showed, the potential that we get a storm that goes to Florida.